Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Hey, welcome to the Art Friend Show. My name is Anamika. I'm a painter and a fellow artist in Portland, Oregon. I'm doing a series of interviews every day for 100 days talking to a different artist about their process and um, what they make and what their experience is like. Today, I am interviewing Miranda Morehouse. I'm going to have her join right now. And welcome, Miranda. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, it's good. Miranda, you and I have known Hi. each other for many years. Love for you to just share with people, you know, yeah. how you got started making the art um, that you're making now, and um, tell us about your journey. Okay, let's go. So we met in Eugene a long time ago, a lifetime ago. And then we like reconnected again in massage school. Yeah. Funny enough, like if 2010, you remember that, 2011. like 20, yeah, 2010. Yeah. Yeah. This was a long time ago. And so we we're on the massage journey. And I just remember like once we were out working and you were just crushing it, I was like, what's Anamika doing? She's like, you know, you got like the, the help with the mentor, yeah. Lily, who I remember yes. being like, give me her number. And so like, there's just been this like a parallel of like, we're both very like, we want to be successful in whatever we're doing. So um, yeah, I ended up going the massage route while you stuck with your art path journey as we've like seen you do in your videos about, which is so fun and inspiring. And as I kept doing the massage stuff I'd still like see you on Instagram like oh I'm doing this art thing I'm doing that and I'm like oh that's so cool I wish I could do that um and I remember when you first did your like let's go deep the first time and was I that 2017 it was, er it was when early 2018 the only reason I know is because Sky was okay. born 20 early 2019 and it was like the culmination of the first year yeah yeah well, I remember you're like, you can sign up no matter what art style or beginner or whatever. And I remember being like, oh, I should do that. But I'm just like, not there. Like, I'm not an artist. At that point, I was very much like scribbling on paper yeah. and like watercoloring here and there, but was very focused on massage and didn't have time as we yeah. always as an excuse from time to time. Um, so like, I just kept doing massage and like painting here and there wishing like oh I wish I was good at this and then I kept just seeing you pop up in the world being <laughs> cool <laughs> and like meanwhile you know, enjoying I have your say, journey from I the side like, watching you and you were learning how to streamline a business and you started to run a clinic mm -hmm. where you had you know other people working for you so I think we mm -hmm. saw each other as well as as um you know, people who are interested in having our own business and, and really learning the skills there. I'm also going to kind of pull into the corner mm -hmm. here yeah. so that I have um, my, yeah. my friend and neighbor is cooking with my daughter while we do this interview so that we have some time. So Perfect. I'm just going to park us a little bit cozier here. This audio awesome. was Very not really cooperating with. Hi. Uh, I see my friend Hi. Kate is watching. Hi, Kate. Thanks for coming. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's 
one of those days. There we go. I'm just gonna hold it. And chill yeah. out in the corner. It's perfect. Okay. All right. So I will continue the journey with, um, I guess, yeah. So the 2018, you did your, your first launch and I was like, that seems cool. Not going to do it. And then we'll just fast forward to like, my, my story kind of really starts in the year 2020 yeah. of pandemic times because my yeah. massage practice had to close. Therefore, I needed to figure yeah. out what I was going to do with all my free time. And in the middle of the pandemic, we moved to the East Coast with my husband for his work. And so it was just like a big time of like reorganizing my personal life because I was like, okay, can't do massage. Okay, I moved to a new place. I don't have my people and hobbies and all that familiar stuff. And so that's when this inkling of, and this was like March 2020, wow. we moved in June 2020. And like when I know I signed up for the Let's mm -hmm. Go Deep that you were offering in like November yes. 2020. And that timeline all really lines up with like, we moved to the East Coast and my husband had a an iPad that he got. And so I stole that from him and downloaded the Procreate app and just started doing like drawing every day was just what I was doing to kill my time while I lived I in Long Island, New York. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so it was just a weird time. And then in the middle of me starting to like dabble with art, my dad got sick back home in Oregon. And so I went home to Oregon and turned out he like was needed hospice care. And that was just yeah. like the journey I was suddenly on. And like, it was just a weird time where um, it correlated with this beginning of Let's Go Deep. Like that started June or January yeah. 1st, 2021. I had just got back to take care of my dad like that mm -hmm. December. And so it was like, really just a lot of I didn't even know I felt very ungrounded. So the art was like, okay, this will be something I can like tie into with something that's like every week we're checking in yeah. and it'll just be what it is. And I think I just had that like, not necessarily like confidence in my art at all yeah. at that point. I had no idea what I was doing, but I felt very comfortable and safe with you as like someone who's really gracious and supportive with fellow artists no matter if they're like beginner or like super like educated and know everything about art so I, I appreciated yeah. that I could just figure out what I was going through and I know that like you're somebody who's dealt with like all kinds of health and grief and stuff so I felt like I could go through whatever I was going through with you and um, it was I did it was great <laughs> I remember watching yeah. you start to draw and design and I was like, I had no idea she was a designer and could, you know, could create yeah. all this stuff. And then when you signed up for my program, I was so excited because it meant we would get to work together in this intimate way. And the serendipity of you, yeah. you know, finding your, your new artistic voice while being, you know, this basically solo caregiver and going through this intense grief. It was really divine. It felt mm -hmm. like perfect timing and, and the power and, and the honesty yeah. that, that came through. And, it, you know, it's one of those journeys where, you know, we don't necessarily have to paint like, pictures of ourselves crying. We can paint, like, beautiful things and yeah. still allow it to be this incredible vehicle for whatever is being felt. And mm -hmm. to, yeah. to work with you in that way gives me this, like forever, probably. I mean, we've both never lived into the future yet, but like, I feel so personally connected mm -hmm. to your, to the work that you make, having seen its inception at, or not, I mean, obviously you've been making your whole life, but having been privy to your process for six months in this intense way, mm -hmm. now I'm just like, yes, like mm -hmm. look at your, look at that long range. I remember when you had that breakthrough of that being like perspective in the relative size and like, yeah. Things like that, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so good. And I go back to those lessons in the Let's Go Deep course. Yeah. Or, you know, it's, it's had it's many iterations called, of the name. It's now called Visual Artist Accelerator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, Visual Artist Accelerator. But when I did it and it's like, I still am like, oh yeah, atmospheric perspective and like color theory stuff. Like that's, that's my foundation. And that's like my art yeah. school where I go back to that stuff all the time when I'm just having little struggles. And I know people have said it before. It's like, Anamika's voice is in your head of like, you know, just that, that gentleness too, which is like a much more kind voice to have in your head than the one that's yeah. like, this Oh sucks. yeah, I have, I have <laughs> you know what I mean? kind voice so. in my own head. And I think that, you know, mm -hmm. we, as a, as, a, as a teacher, I just, I, I find ways like metaphors for things that that work over the years and i i think mm -hmm. like that sort of stuff if it resonates with you and helps you you start to learn mm -hmm. learn in that way so yes I, I love your lighthouse metaphor like to the point i told my husband about it and he's like oh i kind of like identify with that mm -hmm. as he goes through his stuff too so it's, that's, it's, that's i love awesome. all of that um yeah yeah so it's fun to like have gone from like fully just very much beginner um, figuring out all of that, like what is atmospheric perspective stuff to now like having that understanding and then being able to reach out to you here and there and be like, hey, now I have these new goals and what am I, how should I do yeah. my art now? And it's just- So tell us a little bit awesome. about that because um, Thank you. <laughs> we got the, the pleasure of of working together again after like a year of you going out and crushing it and yeah. what, are you, what are you currently working on can you show us some of your art uh sure so yeah. like i guess right behind me i could do this um i'll say so like when we were first working together it was just like i don't know what i'm doing i would do some watercolor stuff let's do it a little like oh yes I made some prints oh, cool. of like cool. old yes. art that I have. Oh, so like here is yes. like back, yeah. back in the day stuff that I was doing of like, and this was the stuff when I was like fully in the grief of like missing home, missing people, wanting mm -hmm. to get off of Long Island, right? And so I was just trying let's, to like get us back. Let us see them. Work like, yeah. oh, I'm not yeah. Okay. Ah. So, so it's can I, little can I add, around it. you were but living I, in Long Island where being from Oregon, we're both from Oregon. And you're from like central yeah. desert, Eastern Oregon, where there are wide open yeah. spaces, but being suddenly in Long Island where there were no, nowhere you could have your dog off leash, you know, fences privatized, all the land was like not public. Mm -hmm. You were just like, mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I so saw through my art, it was like, yeah, I need this sense of freedom somehow. And so and that was really nice to just like explore whatever I was making and not feeling too like, it needed to be good or whatever. It was just great. So and now I'm doing like, much different stuff. Like here's just a little um, four by four Joshua tree. I did this this morning because I'm doing a 100 day yeah. project yeah. with everybody else. Amazing. Super fun. Um, so this is fun how they've all just been de developing um i love painting landscapes yeah That's i've been working on have. a big one because i painted like all these little i arts. feel like when you so, move when you know. relocated to california you're you also got really inspired is that accurate mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, because I was painting based on like old photographs that I'd taken back in Oregon. It was like painting from this like longing type of feeling. And then I got here and I was like, oh my God, I'm looking out the window because it's just gorgeous at my house. You have the view of the mountains. There's a lemon tree outside, like yeah. Joshua trees right there. And so like, yeah, I think I was just immediately like ignited. And I think a lot of like Oh, maybe it does like matter where you live yeah. if you're like happy or not. <laughs> so that has definitely come through in my art. And then the correlation of like having more the skill develop along with being in a more like yeah. happier mind mindset and space mentally just like made the art well, yeah. get better too. It's been too. so fun to so, see. And yeah. I, I really view you as prolific and seeing you take on the challenge of a hundred day project and 100 days of Pilates. You're also doing that. <laughs> oh, you're oh, 30 days. Okay. 30 days. Just one. Yeah. And then we'll see what it's, happens. It's just after. really great. <laughs> I remember 
you had that craving as well for daily practice and you know trying different ways and seeing mm -hmm. seeing you come around to new levels of it i'm sure you'll continue to do that too it's, it's like mm -hmm. a progression yeah thank you yeah it's so fun and like you're just a huge foundation of that and like put planting the seeds like of yeah. of like oh yeah you can do this yes yeah, yeah. don't yeah. worry and, you know me. i teach best what i yeah. need to know because i run into mm -hmm. i'm out here doing it i'm you know i'm like crouched down in my living room broadcasting to build the next chapter of my career um co-create it um, yeah yeah and i get really inspired just seeing how those seeds that we create together in in the mentoring course mm -hmm. can then you know lead to years years on the road. so can you speak to life i'm yeah. going to kind of um challenge you right now <clears throat> to speak to life some of what you would love to be experiencing and creating as an artist in the next year and three years? Um, so I am obviously like still a massage therapist. It, I don't know if that's not total obvious. obvious or not, but it's up to me. <laughs> well, I am. And I think like we've got some big transitions coming up in the next year with like my husband's work, like we're going to move again and all this stuff. And I think like me personally, a goal is that my art becomes more of my my career and I can transition yeah. out of doing massage full time. Like, um, sorry if any of my clients are listening, <laughs> but like that's my goal is to become more of the artist and having that fulfill my like needs that way. Because like I love, it. I could paint all day and I'm so happy and I've loved seeing the growth in like what I make. And so I just think... I have this like vision of like, I just feel very new still where I'm like, oh, if I can see that change in the last two years, like, oh my gosh, what's it gonna be in the next two years? Because I have felt so much yeah. growth in a short amount of time that I just keep like having that, like, I don't know, my self support of like, you've got this, like just be in the moment, but like two years from now, three years from now, like people do it all the time. You can definitely be yeah, an artist. I think like, that, so. knowing your level of you've already been running a business for a decade you know and so that's, yeah. that's <laughs> part of it when people yeah when when fellow artists say oh okay i'm gonna go be a full-time artist i think that the you know the, the sobering discussion is about the skill set needed to be self-employed to really mm -hmm. look at products and services right. as offerings and one thing that happens um inside mm -hmm. of the umbrella of an art business is that we often are running multiple businesses at once. And I know, you know, we're, yes. we're offering um, perhaps reproductions, originals, some uh, sort of service of mm -hmm. teaching, that sort of thing. And so for both of you and I, we got our foundation yeah. running a very pretty simple service based business as massage mm -hmm. therapists. And for me, that was a really natural transition into uh, the one on one style of teaching because it's like appointments, it's holding space, yeah. it's a clear exchange. Mm -hmm. And um, in two, it was June 2016 when I made that, like, you know, and I, I, that's when I had my very last massage clients. And I told everyone I was taking the summer off because I was so busy with workshops yeah. and all the art shows. And I never, I remember some clients just kind of held out for a few months. And then I'm like, by the mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all, I'm never coming back. I'm retired, which is a hilarious yeah, word to yes. do in your 30s, but I retired. And I know how yeah. that leap can feel. It's, it feels more like a mm -hmm. DJ kind of yeah. turning up the volume on one song and the other volume up, you Ooh, know, like, I like that. I think that that's kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's totally it. I like yeah. that. I'm going to use that little and, visual. Um, yeah. How, how can we assist you? So people can come follow along on your hundred day project right now on Instagram. You're also really, really good at showing in your originals, selling your paintings. They sell like, hot so yeah. Oh my God. It's so fun like I literally yesterday I just took my art like all these little minis down to um 
a local shop yeah. in Redlands where I live. And an hour later, the guy calls me. He's like, oh, take two of these off your website because they sold. And I was like, yeah. sweet, awesome. That felt That's so good. Um, so yeah, just more like, yeah, follow me on the internet, on Instagram. I am just popping on all the time. I share my 100-day project on my stories every day. You've been newslettering? Then, your newsletters yeah. are great. Miranda's I, newsletters are really fun Thank to Thank you. See. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, like, I feel like that's one of the most yes. important things for us to have is a newsletter that becomes yeah. the heartbeat. Yeah. And whether Instagram plummets the way of Facebook, it's like eventually, you know, we always yeah. own our newsletters and as audio, like as someone in the community yes. of an artist, it's one of the best ways you can, you know, really support them too, is to be on the newsletter list because you have a direct mm -hmm. connection. It's true. Yes. Thank you for saying that. I do have, go to my yeah. website, mirandamorehouse.com. Yeah. My newsletter links all the yeah. things. You can oh, be so friends. To talk to you <laughs> and thank you for sharing and co-creating and um yeah I just adore you and I'm such a fan of your art so thank you feeling yeah. it's mutual yeah thank you. okay <laughs> I'm gonna end this one and I'll see you back in the zoom room to debrief anyone who's been watching or listening comment on this let Miranda know how fabulous she is tell her about her art follow her and if you can share your stories and get other people in for the art friend interview that was really helpful to me because we've got eight, eight more days of this to go. It's so cool to see where it leads. So, <laughs> thank you. I will love you. I will be with you in two seconds. My daughter is there. Okay. Bye. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friend School where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com.